Hello and welcome back to Fallout 76. Today we're going to have a look at an automatic Enclave Plasma Pistol. So I found this in the stash box on another character the other day and I realized it is the perfect combination of mods for a gorilla build. So what we have is the aligned automatic barrel and the reflex sight and a pistol grip. I added the prime capacitor. Normally I'd run it with the uh, calibrated, but I don't have one of those. So because it is Enclave, you actually have to have the loose mod, except for the prime capacitor. You know, there is no loose mod for that, but you have to have the loose mod uh, to apply anything to an on or a Enclave plasma gun. And I didn't have a calibrated, so I went with prime. And after spending entirely too many modules, I ended up with a medics with extra critical damage and reduced AP cost. Now, I really wanted something with reduced AP cost because the cost on these is really high. I mean, even with the reduced AP, it's still 18, which is pretty high for an automatic weapon. And with critical damage on there, so I mean, if I have critical damage, reduced AP, I'm pretty much gonna go with any first star that I end up with. Thankfully, it wasn't something stupid like uh, stalkers. I mean, Maddox has some use, it's basically like a bad version of vampires. But since I only have one copy of this gun, I didn't wanna risk uh, continuing to roll, trying for something better on that first star. So since agility is pretty crowded, I don't have maxed out Gorilla. I've got uh, rank three, two, and one, but I do have all the science perks maxed out. It doesn't add as much damage as you might think, but it does add a little bit more. So we decided to do that. And we are definitely a critical build. So I'm using critical savvy and better criticals. I'm also using eagle eyes for extra critical damage and blight soup for extra critical damage. So this is not a suppressed weapon, but I will do my best to try and uh, stay hidden. Uh, sneak attacks will give us more damage, plus they will keep us from taking damage, so I don't think it's going to last all that long. But we'll see how it goes. Oh, still caution. So the character does have a uh, full set of covert scout armor. Now I'm in danger. I should be trying to shoot for those spouts to try and cripple them. But uh, I do have, uh, ooh, and I don't have born survivors, so I do have to pay attention to my health. But yeah, I have a full set of covert scout, and uh, there we go. Back in caution. Let's uh, see what we can do with those spouts. There we go. This thing does really nice damage, so even if you get detected, you can still typically take care of your enemies. Yeah, running these as an automatic is actually my favorite way to use a plasma gun, whether it be regular plasma or enclave plasma. I just love the sound of the uh, of the automatic weapon, and I love the of the green balls, you know, the fast uh, fast firing green balls. But yeah, automatic is my favorite way to use it. I know uh, plasma or uh, flamer is the way that most people go, but uh, I like that as well. But I think for entertainment purposes. Automatic is the way to go. And if we could stay hidden, we'll do really nicely. And firing a short burst is obviously your friend on this just because the uh, AP cost is so high. Yeah, I'm actually glad that this didn't end up as a quad because quad would be completely useless. As it is, 27 ammo capacity is a, I mean, I can't even get through that before running out of AP. Now, if you were low health, like if you were running on yielding and your AP was pretty high, that, prob that wouldn't be a problem, I don't think, but I'm not low health, so. It is an issue. There we go. Man, this thing does such nice damage. It's so much fun. I love, I just love the sound of it. I think the sound is just so cool on this weapon. So, and I love using it as a pistol and a pistol does have a lower, little lower AP cost than a rifle, putting a rifle stock on it, which I, again, I don't have. You'd have to have a loose mod for that, but putting a rifle stock on it actually increases the AP cost. So for the most part, if you, uh, the nice thing is it's not a silenced weapon, but it kills things pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, and I say that, and of course, uh, manual aiming isn't my favorite thing. I was gonna say, it kills things quickly, which helps uh, survivability because you kill them and they can't, uh, they can't shoot back. And of course, timing is everything. Uh, there we go. Yeah, manual aim, not my favorite thing with this. Projectiles are kind of slow. Plus I'm in third person and I can't aim worth a damn in third person. Another thing I like about this, uh, about plasma guns in general, anything that uses plasma cartridges, you'll pretty much always come out ahead, at least over time you will, because the drop rate is so high for plasma cartridges. Even with an automatic, it, automatic is probably the most difficult to stay ahead, but even then, you'll still gradually gain, as long as you're looting your enemies and looting containers, you'll pretty much always, uh, you'll be gradually gaining ammo as you go. Something is, oh, there it is. Something, something was aware of my presence. I was in caution. I, I was looking all over the place for this guy. Oh, there we go. Another couple of uh, baddies to take care of. All right, looks like we've got a couple of gulpers in this area. At least I think there's a couple. I oh, there's the other one. Hiding over there. We don't want to shoot him in the belly. Let's see here. Nice thing about a plasma also is the range is pretty nice and the VAT's accuracy is really good as well. 
All right, let's see what we can do about our big green friends. We'll start with him. We'll do some, uh, yeah, this thing does, it does so much, uh, such nice damage. Critical hits obviously are doing uh, the most of the work, but even then, even without critical hits, the, the damage on this thing is just pretty high. And there is at least one more in the area. He sees us, oh, there we go, or he thinks he does, and that takes care of that. Yeah, nice thing about the plasma gun is even though the AP cost is pretty high, you are usually killing stuff pretty, uh, let's see if I can get, uh, yeah, manual aiming, my chance of hitting this thing is, uh, there we go. <laughs> getting its attention is uh, pretty minimal. Now, because this is primed, I should do really good damage against everything in this area. So, yeah, this should go rather quickly. Especially if I can stay in caution. Let's see. Uh, that's what I'm trying to go for. Doesn't want to come close, but uh, we're still getting it done. He's far enough away that uh, I'm remaining undetected. Although, even though I'm in caution, Scorch always make a beeline right for you. They seem to always know right where you are, even if you're hidden, in caution, whatever. There we go. And there you have it, the automatic Enclave Plasma Pistol. These things hit really hard and they are a lot of fun to use. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit one of the buttons down below and I hope you'll join me in the next one. Thank you very much.